So we decided we've been swagging it for about a week. Left the van in Townsville. And so we decided because it's Belinda's birthday that we should um, hop into a little unit in the Daintree. We we're at the Daintree village. And uh, yeah, this is the view from our veranda. Um, had a little bit of rain today, and who would have believed it had rained in a rainforest? But there you go. That's where we are, and it's really pretty spectacular. How many eggs do they do at a time? Sorry? How many eggs do they have? They went in the wild, 60%. But sort of October gets a little bit warm. Although we have noticed that um, the mangoes are already fruiting. Yeah. And um, it might be five weeks in front of what we should be. So. Also, the pencil orchids are out, so that's really unusual for August. Especially, uh, normally we see the pencil orchids out late September. Alright. So I'm going to hit this, hit this um, speed up a little bit so we can get to the other crocodile. And this is keep your eyes peeled for a pearl grey. Depending on her okay. yeah. okay. condition, if she's um, a bit skinny, she won't, probably won't even want to be mating because it's not worth sitting on eggs and... and uh, sitting next to a nest because they pretty much don't sort of like a hibernation, starvation at the Alexander's lookout, or Alexandra lookout, and true to its name, the rainforest is raining. But hey, that's cool. A nice day, I'm still in shorts, and the view is pretty good. The inlet, the ocean down there, probably the mouth of the Daintree River. Like 
This is a strangler fig. It's grown around a tree at some point in its life. It's killed the host. The host has rotted out of the middle. And then this has fallen down. Pretty amazing. One tree, one fig tree. Hang on. And that's the. You zoom in on that. One focus, great. This is the ferry across the Daintree River to get into the Daintree Forest. And up the Cape Tribulation and the Bloomfield Track, which is where we're going today. A little bit of four-wheel driving for fun. It's a nice rainy day, the track's going to be a bit slippery. Could be a lot of fun. This is the Daintree Forest Ferry, crossing the Daintree River car ferry we managed to get up to the pointy end so I can take this video only takes five minutes it's about 100 meters I guess and they're busy all day from six o'clock in the morning until 12 30 I think at night people have reported seeing crocodiles here in the last couple of days but we didn't see one we crossed twice yesterday we didn't see any here come to the end of the ferry ride. I'll keep the video running for a while because you'll see how windy this road is if you haven't been up to the Dane Tree before. Um, it's absolutely beautiful forest you can see. Rainforest there. Job description includes opening and closing the gates. Off. background.
thick forest jungle. And true to its name, it's raining in the rainforest, but that's okay, it's still warm. Uh, 22 degrees at the moment. Find some heavy jungle for you. Tribulation. We're now on Cape Tribulation Road or Bloomfield Road. Four wheel drive track, it's not too bad so far. We've only been on it a few minutes. We've got a professional driver at the wheel, professional passenger on this side. Here you go. <laughs> Do that. Do that. Do that. Go. Um, Bring it across. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Couldn't move the camera that far, should I? You get seasick when I do that. Got some music on the Bob Dylan. Bit of Bob Dylan on the on the radio. And, ugh, it's been a bit wet here, so it's probably going to be a bit slippery in places. There might be a few little creek crossings, but I don't expect them to be very deep. We haven't had that much rain. It's a bit bouncy. Bit of fun. Bit of fun. That's why you buy a four-wheel drive for. We don't have the van on the back, so we're, uh, we're pretty free. Somebody behind us has got a van, but uh, lost sight of him. Oh. oh, she's a bit rough. She'll get us there in the end. jungle and just off to the right over there is the ocean oh, no, she's not the ocean <laughs> <laughs> drives only past this point. Oh, I'm 
Oh shit. You just go for it, you reckon? Yep. Yeah? He must have walked across the river. Not too fast. Go fast. Oh! Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Here we go. High five. <laughs> well, that was our first river crossing. Leaning in of any uh, particular note was about, um, yeah, the size of wheels, a bit less. Three quarters of the wheels. Oh yeah, along the Bloomfield track, we stopped to have a bit of breakfast actually, it's about 11 o'clock, so it's time for breakfast. We must be just about at the end of this four wheel drive track. Yeah, it's been pretty good, it's, it's been raining for a couple of days, um, not, not heavy, but Probably a little stream, probably full of bloody crocodiles, but you know. This is Cooktown, uh, named after Lieutenant James Cook. It's not a very big town, probably three or four thousand people, I think, something like that. And uh, James Cook pulled in here to repair his boat, the Endeavour. Somewhere down there, he beached it. And um, while his men were working, he did a little bit of exploration around the place and climbed some of the hills. Uh, the town, of course, is named after him. And there's statues to him and there's a James Cook Memorial and Museum, etc, etc. Um, that's quite a nice little town. Gateway to the Cape in a lot of ways for, for people coming this way. The fishing is apparently pretty good. And uh, I've taken the video, the, the voiceover from the video out because the wind was so bad that you couldn't hear anything else. You know, just have to put up with me doing this. Cheers. I don't know whether that lighthouse is still in use, but it's a bit of a memorial. We're at Endeavour Falls. This is north of Cooktown, about 30 k north of Cooktown. Nice little falls. They say you can swim in here, but at the top of the hill behind me, there's a sign that says warning crocodiles. And so at least one of us will not repeat will not be swimming in here. I treat all water in Queensland as having crocodiles in it. I haven't had a shower for a week. These are pretty little falls. Might be tempted to uh, swim up there.
So the next video we see will be of us travelling up to the very tip of mainland Australia, top of Cape York. It was a really good trip and uh, well worth the effort, although you wouldn't want to do it in your Corolla. Um, it's a bit rough, but it was a great trip.